obviously uh, we'll start with uh, statistical inference for single sample so this one is hypothesis testing for single sample data set or single sample statistics so this is chapter 9 of uh, applied statistics and probability for engineers by montgomery and Rene ranger okay uh, statistical hypothesis or your hypothesis testing or hypothesis is a statement that uh, we want to verify or we want to know about one or more population so you can have two different uh, hypotheses the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis yung hypothesis we always uh, state that this is an educated guess so we have the null hypothesis as uh, the one that we don't want to to uh, happen or usually ayun yung gusto nating i -disprove. And the alternative hypothesis is yung ating hypothesis. Basically, we have uh, the this example here. Oh, sorry. Here, pointer. Um, laser pointer. So we have this hypothesis here, the the null hypothesis where uh, we state that uh, the mean value for uh, our population is equal to 50 while h1 here this one uh, it's not equal to 50 as the alternative hypothesis we can uh, this uh, first hypothesis uh, alternative hypothesis is what we call the uh, two-sided uh, hypothesis or alternative hypothesis we can have the one-sided hypothesis, which is in this point, the one on the left, which is less than 250, and the one on the right is when your mean value is greater than 50. So, the task of hypothesis is a procedure that leads to deciding on either we will accept this one or not, or our assumption or our uh, guess for a specific population is uh, correct or not and basically this is done for random samples from the pop population of interest and if this information is consistent then we will state that the hypothesis is true but inconsistent then the hypothesis is false so this is an example of the hypothesis that we will uh, accept uh, the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis when the value is between 48.5 and 51.5 so yan yung ating range for uh, accepting the null hypothesis while for rejecting it beyond that value the one uh, from 48.5 pa baba and 51.5 pa taas we will reject the null hypothesis so, in hypothesis testing, usually we incur errors. So, we have two types of error, the type 1 and the type 2 error. Type 1 is what we call the false positive, while type 2 is the false negative error. Meaning, type 1, we actually have the false positives. Positive is rejecting the null hypothesis when, in fact, this is true. While type 2 error when uh, fail to reject the null hypothesis when the hypothesis is false. Okay, so for uh, hypothesis testing, we always want to know the probability of uh, committing type 1 and type 2 error. Usually, type 1 error is what we call the alpha or the significant level or the alpha error or the size of the test, which is the probability of the type 1 error, which is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis this is when this is true while well, the beta is uh, the probability of type 2 error where uh, we fail to reject this is the probability to fail to reject your null hypothesis when this is false okay so uh, as you can see here uh, this is the guilty verdict this is your type 1 error when uh, the person is innocent so, while this one is uh, not guilty when the actual person is guilty so computing for the type 1 error so for this example we assume that 
uh, the accepted hypothesis is uh, 48.5 to 51.5. So if we want to know the, the hypothesis for this one, this is just the rejection. Okay, so this one, the probability of rejection. So the C value that corresponds to 48.5 and 51.5 5 is uh, negative 1.9 and 1.9. Getting the uh, probability of that C value, we have the 0 0.057434, which implies 5.74% of all random sample would lead to the rejection of this hypothesis. So, dito yan, the passive. And dito sila sa uh, error na yan. While for uh, probability of uh, type 2 error, basically we know the actual value, which is the actual mu is 52, but our range is 48.5 to 51.5. So, uh, we want to determine the C value for this one, for C1 in 48.5 to 51.5 against the actual uh, mean value. And getting the probability between these two, is uh, 0.2640, which means that the probability will be that we fail to reject the false null hypothesis is 0.2643. This is the null hypothesis, but the actual value is 52. Uh, there is another tool in a statistical test, which we call the power of statistical testing, and this is computed as 1 minus beta. So, once you calculated the probability of your type 2 error, which is the beta, we can uh, determine the power of your statistical test by uh, subtracting this value from 1. And this value, 1 minus beta, is uh, your power and can be interpreted as the probability of correctly rejecting a false na hypothesis. So, for example, yung kanina nakuha natin na beta is 26.43. Ang value natin for the power is 0.7357. Okay? So, for hypothesis testing for one-sided and two-sided uh, hypothesis, the same lang din. But for this one, hindi na siya yung range. So, this one is just less than your mu and greater than your mu. Uh, another method of uh, determining hypothesis uh, or testing hypothesis as determining the p-value. This p-value is the probability of your uh, alpha. So p-value is the smallest level of significance that would lead to the direct rejection of your null hypothesis. So basically observe significant level yung basis. Okay, so for the p-value, typically the probability of this one. Okay, so if you obtain for the mean value of 51.3 and we want to determine the p-value for this hypothesis testing, ang range pa rin natin is your 48.7 tsaka 51.3 on this symmetry. So ang kukunin lang natin probability yung nandito na orange color. So that's 1 minus yung probability nung uh, uncolored region ng church chart and this one is calculated as 0 0.038 you're familiar with the c value okay or c c table calculator okay connecting between hypothesis test and confidence interval so basically uh, the confidence interval will dictate the uh, 95 percent or 99 percent or 1 minus the alpha value of uh, how your mean value will or your specific uh, sample parameter will re be determined okay but in hypothesis testing we usually uh, want to determine you outside that value which is the one minus uh, alpha okay the general procedure for hypothesis testing is uh, identifying the parameter of interest formulating the null hypothesis uh, specify an appropriate alternative hypothesis or H1, choose the significant level, determining uh, the correct appropriate test or statistical test, state the rejection, calculate, and provide a 
conclusion. So, in hypothesis testing, all this A should be noted. Ha? Sa exam, dapat nandun lahat yan. So, I'll check every uh, section. Okay? So, let's have the first uh, test for uh, our parameter or sample statistics. The test on the mean of normal distribution with known variance in the population. So, consider the two-side hypothesis test, your HO and H1, mu is equal to mu, not and alternative is mu is not equal to mu. No. The, the test statistic is just using the C test or the C test statistic. So, the rejection is that for a statistical value where your C alpha, this one, is greater than your C0 or less than C0. So, that's how you will reject. Kung nakukuha yung C value na less than or more than that C0, then reject. While fail to reject if the value is between that negative, one, uh, negative C alpha over 2 to Z alpha over 2. This is a two test hypothesis. Let's have this example. So, air crew uh, escape system are powered by a solid propellant. The burning rate of this propellant is an important product characteristic specification requires that the mean burning rate must be 50. So, this is your mean value for your population. And standard deviation of the population is 2 cm per second, same value. The significant level is 0 0.05 and the number of sample is 25 where the mean value obtained from the sample is 51.3 cm per second. So, the, the seven step or the eight step is uh, determined as this one. And in parameter of interest, so yung mean value, is nating malaman. The null hypothesis should be the mean value of your sample should be greater, uh, equal to 50, while the alternative is not greater to 50. The so, statistic is uh, the C test where this is equal to x bar minus mu not over the standard deviation over square root na. Reject the null hypothesis if the value of your Z calculated is less than negative 1.96 or greater than 1.96. Okay. But between that value, then you fail to reject the null hypothesis. So computing the value, this is 3.25. Comparing to your 1.96, then uh, we conclude that... Uh, we will reject the null hypothesis. Using the p-value, so kunin mo lang yung p-value nitong z. But take note that the p-value should be times 2. Okay? Times 2 siya. Kasi yung p-value nitong 3.25 is just one side. Nandun siya sa uh, upper upper right. So kailangan kunin mo din yung lower left, which is the negative 3.25. And pareho lang yung value nun, kaya times 2 lang. I times 2 nyo lang yung p-value nun for your probability of uh, z equals to 3.25. And this is less than uh, the 0 0.05. This is 0 0.0012, less than siya nung 0 0.05, so we reject the null hypothesis. So, an interpretation, the mean burning rate differs from 50 cm per second based on the 25 sample. Okay? So, we'll end here. Then, we will have the next uh, lesson, which is the determination of the type to error of sample.